Hi there. It says I'm live. Good morning. Let me scoot this over. Okay. Looks like we might have chat available, so I'll try to leave that where it's visible. Or if I can, yeah, I could do that. Get my screen shrunk up enough to where I can still see the chat and what I need to tell you today. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 12th. October 12th. October 12th is the 285th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 286th in leap years with 80 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is puttock, P-U-T-T-O-C-K. I never heard that before. <laughs> it's a new word to me too, puttock. Puttock is a noun that means any of various birds of prey or a greedy person, especially one who preys on others. This word, the origin of this word is uncertain, but it might come from Old English putta, hawk, which means hawk, putta, which means hawk. Earliest documented use, 1175, puttock. Had some issues with the puttock overnight, someone trying to log into some of my accounts. I have changed a number of passwords already today. So that's a little scary. Anyway, with that, October 12th, Columbus Day has been celebrated as a national holiday in the United States since 1937. These days, it's celebrated as a Monday holiday, so people can enjoy a long weekend. And I think they're changing it over to Indigenous Peoples Day. In the current year, uh, 2021, Columbus Day was actually recognized yesterday, Monday the 11th, as a Monday holiday. But October 12th, 1492, is the day that Christopher Columbus and his crew made landfall in the Bahamas. This was the first of four trips he'd make to the New World. Knowledge of this New World... <clears throat> led to a time we can think of as the age of discovery. Colonization of the Americas followed, of course, and transatlantic trade after that, and this time sometimes is thought of as the beginning of the modern era. Really, though, when you think about it, Columbus was looking for an alternate, an alternate route to Asia, which is where he thought he was when he landed. <laughs> It took Amerigo Vespucci to realize that these continents were a unique landmass as he drew the maps, and so the Americas were named after him, Amerigo Vespucci, America. Americas, North and South. Now, I don't mean to throw rocks at Columbus for technically failing his initial task of finding an alternate route to Asia, but that was his stated goal. Not to worry, though, the search for a westward route to Asia was completed in 1521 by Magellan and his bunch, who also completed the first recorded circumnavigation of the globe, but that's another story. Today, it's about Columbus and the day that he and his crew landed in the Bahamas, discovering America. By the way, they were looking for the East Indies as they set out, so all the Caribbean islands came to be known as the West Indies. I had wondered about that. Pretty much opposite sides of the planets, those two collections of islands, but there you go. <laughs> the Salem witch trials were ended on October 12, 1692, by a letter from the province of Massachusetts Bay Governor William Phipps. The verbiage is a little hard to read because of the archaic use of language. I mean, it wasn't archaic in that time, but it's archaic now. It's hard to follow. The gist of it, though, is that apparently he'd been away and returned to find these witch trials had been going on, complete with convictions and executions, usually by hanging, I believe. But they hadn't talked to him about it. They had not conferred with him about this. 
He says in this letter, I hereby declare that as soon as I came from fighting and understood what danger some of their innocent subjects might be exposed to, if the evidence of the afflicted persons only did prevail either to the committing or trying of any of them, I did before any application was made unto me, he did this before they asked me, before anyone asked me to, before application was made unto me about it, put a stop to the proceedings of the court, and they are now stopped until their majesty's pleasure be known. Because the king and queen were the boss. <laughs> until their majesty's pleasure be known. So they've got to stop to the witch trials on October 12th, 1692. Now, in the lineup... The, the thing that I look through for ideas for this day in history, the lineup, it said that it was a very simple line of text. It said, on October 12th, 1773, America's first insane asylum opens. I thought, hmm. So I looked into it. And what they're talking about is Eastern State Hospital in Virginia. It's a psychiatric hospital in Williamsburg, Virginia. It was built in 1773. was the first public facility in the United States built strictly and specifically for the care and treatment of the mentally ill. Francis Fauquier, Fauquier, I had a little trouble knowing how to pronounce that name. It's spelled F-A-U-Q-U-I-E-R, Fauquier. Um, was the driving force behind this effort. He was the royal governor of the colony of Virginia, and it seems he had quite a heart for the mentally ill. He mentioned it several times. He recognized that out on the loose is not a safe or happy place for people with mental illness, but locking them up in jail or prison wasn't the answer either. I'm thinking he must have had some kind of personal experience that touched his heart. But he kept bringing it up and talking about it. And he said, you know, you take care of the poor. You also need a place for the mentally ill. He kept bringing it up until they finally did get underway with plans to build such a facility. Unfortunately, Governor Fauquier did not live to see this built, but passed away about four years before it was. Uh, but he certainly was the driving force behind it. Eastern State Hospital in Virginia, the first psychiatric hospital in the United States. And as I understand, I believe it's still there. It burned down sometime, was rebuilt in the 1980s. But as far as I understand, it's still there. So many interesting things happened on October 12th. It's hard to wrap them up and find things to put in a concise little package of information uh, to, enough to make the length of these videos tolerable. <laughs> could go on half the day, but we all have other things to do. Anyway, if you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains them all. It's a, a link in the show notes there. Uh, I also put a link on a blog called No Really. <laughs> There's a link to that below also. Let's see what else, anything. Oh, I have another channel, Eight Susquehanna. Check it out. You might or might not like it. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this with others. All righty. All right, I think that's it. So we'll come back over here. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> One of my earliest and best viewers has probably seen everything that I've ever published on this channel. Hi, Braxton. <laughs> We're working on some of those other things. All righty. Well, all right. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to look for the thank you very much button. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow.